Yo, 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 it's Service the Bear here. I'm just doing a short little video recording of Star Control Origins. I know it's been a little while since I have been doing any some sort of recording, streaming, etc. I'm not really going to be streaming over on Twitch this whole time, so it's just this is just going to go up onto my YouTube. As far as I can tell from what I'm seeing, everything is coming through okay. Obviously, if it isn't, just obviously leave a comment once I've got everything all updated onto YouTube. Just trying to check my game sound. It was working earlier on. Why is it not now? Ooh, yay. Okay. Oh, that's why. Helps if I actually have it unmuted from inside the, the volume mixer. I'll just quick check. Okay, that is coming through fine. Or I see the video footage is coming through. Okay, and the overlay is on there. Awesome possums. Alrighty, yo. So. What's gonna happen is I've set all the optional settings in here. There's not really much really to do. Full screen, any aliasing, great. Turn the volume music down. Gameplay wise, normal camping difficulty, channeling expert. Showing for always that, just left that normal. Control systems, you can start feeling about with it. That's fine. It does say here if only one player uh, computer can use keyboard and mouse or controller, if any. Control the game. One local player. Etc. There's a crafting bit which you can do your ships and now I had a look at that. And it looks pretty interesting, but I think with a bit more experience we'll be, uh, I'll be able to do a bit more on the, the crafting and the building side. I've not done, not even had to look at that yet. Codex option stuff, credit leaderboard stuff. Bah. Actually, I'm gonna have a quick look at the leaderboard. It's gonna be pointless since it's never really bother worth it. Uh. Here we go. friends. Coming soon. Interesting. Global stats. Wow. So far already? Dang. Ah. Giving a list of favorite ships here. Ship result totals. Defeats and victories. The measured response. If that's a ship name, then yeah. unique. But it definitely looks like the measured response seems to be. It seems to have an overwhelming. suspicions but no and here comes my profile nothing play quick play online battles under the fleet battles menu to view your stats and leaderboard ranking yeah I won't be doing that for a while until I'm getting through the game all right covered everything really codex that Ooh. fancy wancy Okay. Plenty of reading there, by the looks of it. Sync. I like this. Having this on my desktop would be pretty cool. Obviously, about all lectures, but still. Well, you can learn more about the universe and their credits, obviously. The most handsome men and women in the universe. I don't know about that. I'm fluffy. And I'm cute. There you go. 
options, crafting, beat battles, obviously load the game. And loot boxes to gain two percent. Aaron, loot boxes to gain a 2.3% chance of giving us gaining a save save game slot. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's only recently out. Version is currently this at this moment in time. Let me just turn my little light out so I can see my mixer now. Turn that off. Don't need to look at it anymore. Let's load a new game up. Ooh, pretty background. Or looting splash bean, if you want to call that, or whatever. Mm. And this video is not sponsored by Pepsi Max. Wink, wink. The Pepsi Max, or the company that makes Pepsi Max, which is... Uh, Pepsi Cola, wishes to sponsor the bear. Feel free. Loading times may be a little bit. I am not on an extremely fast computer like a lot of awesome gamers are. I run on standard hard drive, 720 RPMs. I have an i7 quad core, 4 gigahertz base, 4.4 gigahertz turbo, uh, socket 1150. I forget the chipset on the motherboard. It's an MSI motherboard with an MSI GeForce 970 graphics card. Using the NVIDIA sound just now, I'm going to go dedicated. Return back to the old ways. A warning there could be voices in the background. I would love to say I'm getting 330 FPS on a non moving background with a small little line. Spectacular. <coughs> I have a funny feeling she may end up be trying to do something at the cell phone in the background. I'm hoping not. Because that would be rather damn annoying. Okay. Looky looky loo. Where are you? Just check to see if Steam's not trying to do anything. Oh, there we go. We believe this is an alien transmission. And this is originating from where, exactly? It's local. Triton. Recall the captain. Tell him that he's needed. He's still on administrative leave from the incident. That no longer matters. He's the only one qualified to command the prototype Vindicator. <sighs> is it me or the subtitles seem to be a bit behind? I was a little bit confused at the start of the time, it gives you the little intro where the appears to be a signal that is picked up and by some sort of person that looks like an alien, of course. And he ends up finding out where the signals came from. Obviously, Earth, our lovely home planet in the solar system. So, from what we've seen on the video, or what I've seen in the video, is him leaving his little listing post station base thing and planning a course towards us. So judged on from what I'm seeing there, in that small short bit of a video, is that he's on his way. And that could mean we're all doomed. Either or, it could be a possibility, or 
we could find out and see. So, anyhow, we have this lovely, what appears to be a computer screen inside a computer screen. Try not to get too close to my microphone. And coming messages. Ooh. Could that be Half-Life 3? Some folk will be going, <gasps> Speculation! Mm. Top secret. Verify identity. So my rank is Captain. And no, I'm not Alan Brady. Or Bradley, or however you want to say that. Let's put me in here. I am Servius. The bear. The furry one. The fluffy one. Let's go. Okay. To Captain Service the Bear. Star Control Command. Reactivation. Uh, you have been recalled to duty. Please report to the UES Vindicator. Can I change that name? Ooh, yes, I can change that name. Ooh, ooh. Now let's 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 get a name. Let's 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 get a name I can use here. Because if I can change, can I? Oh, yes, I can. Sweet. Um. Yeah. Flip. Oh my God! I can't even spell. The UES Fluffy. <laughs> For the high priority mission, Commander Skyla will be waiting for you. Mission difficult? Ah, leave it normal. Admiral Lee G. Let's rock. The last of the crew and supplies should be coming over to you shortly, Captain. Time to get started. Star Control is ordering you to travel to Triton and investigate the alien radio <coughs> signal that's originating there. Okay. I'm just gonna be usual. Go through them all. It's just a series of regular pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. That's the hydrogen line, in case you've forgotten your radio astronomy. Some very excitable men in glasses are pretty sure if aliens ever try contacting us, they'll do it on that frequency. They are substantially less certain why aliens might be on one of Neptune's moons, though. First of all, I have no idea what radio astronomy is, other than it's some sort of scientific thing about noise and outside in space. Here we go. Scan its surface from orbit. If you find the signal, send one of your ship's landers down to the surface to examine it further. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. Whoa, 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 So, go there. Scan the planet. If you get a signal, go down. And then, not die. Hmm, interesting. One second. Let's see here. Yeah, let's do that. If you believe it's safe to do so, yes. Just please be careful, Captain. Not entirely. Their departure is the whole reason we have a star control in the first place. Your mission to Triton takes priority, but if you do discover anything concerning the Lexites, you should tell us right away. The Lexites, okay. Sounds interesting. We still have no idea. For post-humans, or whatever they call themselves, they sure didn't talk about themselves as much as us original versions like to. 
We've combed over their facility on the moon, hoping to find some hints, but haven't found anything. They never seemed to be upset with us, or expressed any great unhappiness with their situation on Earth. Which is maybe surprising, considering some of the abuse they took. My theory? They got bored with us. Bored with human affairs. Maybe bored of our smell. Hmm. Well, they're essentially human, so yes. But even during the chaos of their exodus, when they were stealing our launch craft, they went to great lengths to avoid harming anyone. Still, they obviously have access to technology we've never even contemplated. If you do run into them, be careful, Captain. Kill, crush, and destroy. Okay. Sure, Captain. Yeah, let's do that. You've already forgotten how to captain a starship, Captain? Yes. That's not a good sign. What do you want to know? You use your thrusters to fly forward and steer. Knowing your fondness of old computers, you probably have configured your maneuvering thrusters to be the left and right cursor keys, and thrust will be the up key. Braking maneuvers typically require you to turn the entire ship around and thrust in the opposite direction. That's the basics, at least. If you want to refresh your combat maneuvering skills, you can visit the training facility at Ceres as well. Interesting. Your ship's computer will automatically put the ship into a safe orbit of any planet in the solar system once you get close enough to it. Scanning the planet from orbit will reveal items and resources of interest, as well as potential landing zones you can send your landing craft to. Okay. We have limited resources here right now, Captain. We used up a lot rushing the construction of that vessel. If you find raw materials on any worlds in the system, you can return with them here. We'll calculate what they're worth and present this to you as resource units, or RU. You can use RU to purchase new components for your ship. Okay. Hope that helps, Captain. One thing I have to say, she is fine looking. Let's Star go. Control has accelerated the construction of our new modular deep solar system vessel specifically for this mission. It's the fastest, most expensive ship humanity has ever made, Captain. Try not to lose it. I'll try to try. It's also equipped with our latest resource collection landers, which I would encourage you to make heavy use of. We used up a lot of materials to make that thing. If we want to make any more Vindicator-class vessels, we're going to need you to collect the resources to do it. Looks like you've got everything stowed away now, Captain. You're all set. Good luck, and please hurry. Wait, 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 wait. There are a lot of people down on Earth anxious to find out what's going on. Okay, so I'm guessing that is going to be there. There's Earth. It's been a moon. Yeah, Earth, Moon, Star Control, and I'm guessing that's our ship there. Crew, fuel, cargo. Okay, control seems to be okay. I'm guessing it must be that way where the arrows are. Whee. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Interesting how the solar system spreads out.
this thing's a little bit frustrating. Captain, oh, okay. we've located the source of the radio signal. It looks like there's a crashed ship down there. We should take a lander down to investigate. Send the red shirts. Yes. The red shirts can go down. There's only one landing zone. We have two landers. Temperature is very cold. Stable weather. Gravity, um, I don't know that. I'm guessing that's good. It's lifeless, non-toxic. 13 nitrogen, 19. Let me see. Okay. Whoa. Okay. That was different. <laughs> Let's see how that's coming through. It's just the audio was coming through a bit quiet on my side. Yeah, looks fine on that. Cool. Audio. Okay, controls. Okay, controlling the landers are fine, okay. Right. Give me a second, I'm just gonna do a quick... I didn't want to do that. I wanted to... Hmm. That would mean... There we go. This straight steer. Okay. So, exiting will basically take you back up into space. I was kind of wondering if that would take us into, uh, you know, just like the, the option side. Ooh! Cool! So we go into the dark side of the planet, it basically lights up your lights. What the f oh, I'm guessing that's minerals of some sort. Resource collected. Press tab to view your inventory and fleet status screen. Okay. Sweet. Alright. Manifest. Fleet. Captain's log. Star Control ordered us to investigate signal originating from the surface of Triton. We should head there right away. September the 20th, 2000, or 2088. Or however you want to say that. Cool. Sweet. Sector maps. Ooh. That looks big. Oh, well. A lot of planets, a lot of places to have a look at. Sweet. Okay. Where now to get them? First of all, hoping my screenshots are working. Oh, wait, 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 what's that? No, no, nothing. No, 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 Zooming the mouse wheel up and down will take your view out in and out. Okay, cool. I can dig with that. That's awesome. All right. I'm going where triangles are going because based on the first thing, triangles lead me to resources. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your seatbelts on. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Whee! Okay, I think that's it. all the resources. Because there's nothing there. Ooh, we found a crash ship. Hello? Is there anybody there? Are, are you... Are you friendly? We come in here. Shoot the kill.
I am Captain James Tiberius Kirk. No bear, you're not. Ooh, hello. You actually came. I can't tell you how sweaty we are to see you. What? You're sweaty to see me? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. And you're a medium-sized mammal. We come in all shapes and densities, human. I am Chief Viscosity Officer Wimdu of the Tyrom. <laughs> I was expecting a better, a, a different reaction than that, but I can go with that. You think it's nice to meet me? That's a wonderful change from the usual disgust and contempt we receive when meeting new species. Well, first of all, you haven't tried to kill me, and you seem to be pleasant enough to talk to me. Therefore, yes, nice to meet you. Even though I did try to take the piss out of you originally. It's a funny story. You like it. It starts with these guys called the Scribe. They're the ones who shot us down. They're kind of our friends. Whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Scribe are kind of your friends, and they're the ones that shot you down? I wouldn't exactly say that's very friendly. Yeah, so basically, we're going with that second one. That makes so much sense when you say it that way. We're actually trying to protect you from the Scribe. We began receiving your radio transmissions about 50 years ago. You're a fascinating species. And because we knew the Scribe would destroy you if they found you, we've been keeping you a secret from them. At least we were, until a few months ago. The Scribe had evidently received traces of your radio broadcasts themselves. They dropped some pretty terrifying hints that they were looking for you. We were on our way here to stall them, which we did, by getting shot down by them. Hence the distress call. Okay. My experience usually tells us that you've tried to defend us by getting shot down. You emit the distress call, which then leads us to investigate. I have a bad feeling about this. My knowledge usually tells me that the scribe are going to be somewhere around here waiting for me to turn up to blow my fluffy butt out of the sky. I generally don't appreciate that. So, Let's get in and let's see what's happening. You probably should. The Scribe are looking for you in this area of space. They don't know exactly where you are, but they will find you. Not a lot of humans are going to survive that process. The good news is, we can help you. If you help us first. Most of our systems were squished when we dropped out of hyperspace. Our hyperwave radio was one of them, which is why we had to call for help the old-fashioned way. Also, half of our entire ship fell off. Now we might actually be able to repair all that damage, but we will definitely need that other half of our spaceship back. <laughs> So, half of your ship is falling off. Hmm. 
and you survived. Okay. Where did the other half of the ship go? It went down on a planet somewhere in your solar system. I'm not sure where precisely. All planets look the same when you're crying. Though if I had to guess, I'd say it was around one of your larger, bluer worlds. Also, we lost a couple of hyperdrive modules. We'll definitely need those if we want to not starve to death far from home. Those definitely went down somewhere in your inner solar system. I know this is a lot to ask. But finding all of this shouldn't be a problem for a ship with both its halves. Great! We'll give you so many hugs if you manage to succeed. Don't touch me. Great! Okay, so we need to go find the rest of their ship. So half of their ship has fallen off. So thinking that was their ship, that's only, oh, okay. All right, now we need to do this thing. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, so that comes right there. We are needing to go to a larger, bluer world. I generally, personally, don't think there's an our, our larger bluer worlds. Oh wait, there, there's one there. Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. Let's have a look. First of all, I can see two sets of minerals already. Let's go. Oh. This looks like the part of the ship that friendly slug is missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Oh. I was just checking. No, I don't want to go into Uranus. <laughs> oh, fudge. He's on our tail. Let's 
grave right over by me. Sir, we're detecting two unidentified objects on the surface of Mars. Is this something to do with the Lexites, or something else entirely? Go! Oh wow. First of all, grab that. This looks like part of an alien spaceship, Captain. I bet this is one of the hyperdrive modules those aliens are missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Groovy tooby. Getting close though. It's like, Woo but the zoomed out, get a more view easier to. Uh, this looks like part of an alien spaceship, Captain. I bet this is one of the hyperdrive modules those aliens are missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Groovy. Okay, so I'm guessing you've got limited space on the lander based on that. I probably should have noticed that earlier. Uh, yeah, I think so there. There, there, there. Patterns for any authorized sentient being. EM broadcast detected. Spectrum analysis. Technological development level T3. 2D image in broadcast identified. Processing. Facial edge discrimination does not match known sentience in this sector. You are not a Tyron. Who are you? Remain where you are. A scribe legate has been notified of your unauthorized existence and is approaching this sector now. Huh. Hold. Transmission incoming. New orders received. Local fleet probe vessel zero will clear system of unauthorized organic vessels. Continue to remain where you are. interesting so 
so we have basic nukes. So this thing can fire nukes. that <laughs> I got the resources let's get the fuck out of here okay not a problem let's have a look at Titan see if it's got it That's got a ton of resources. Powerful winds may make session lines find extremely difficult. No, oh, that's right, man. Yeah, I'll have to not try that again. He's like, yeah, probably not a good idea. We've lost one lander. Ah, so now I get what the thing is. Okay, so we need to land in that green right or everything will be not a very good. Dude. The possible situation of human death. Well, oh, that's just. Pookie. Isn't Pookie good? Probably. And yes, people, I talk to myself. Keeping an eye on that. Oh, we. Oh. No king got our resources. Whoa, what the heck? I turtled. Captain, this is the lunar facility the Lexites settled after they first left Earth. We've sent surveyors here before, and I don't think much has changed since then. Not from all the dust I can see. It doesn't look like the Lexites were here long after they arrived in 2085. This was just a staging area they used before traveling elsewhere. No idea where they went after this, but you know that as well as I do. Finding them is why we have a star control in the first place. Captain, there's something powering on here. Blinking lights, humming sounds. There's a computer screen turning on. It says, Threat to remnants detected. Lander self-defense technology ready to be used. Insert uranium to power. There's a slot in the device here. Do we have any uranium we can feed this thing? I don't... I don't keep that on me. We'll have to come back later then. Or ignore this entirely. Your call, Captain. I keep uranium on me. Well, I do. I keep uranium on me just for those special occasions. Okay. So we've checked. So we've lost one lander. Oh, this is going to be an Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land on. 
We'll need to find some way to improve our lander technology to have a hope of safely exploring the surface here. Okay, not a problem. I ain't not doing that then. You have told me, and therefore my furry little butt will take your advice and definitely agree. Should we check the planet? No. <laughs> Let's go into the sun. Hmm. Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land on. We'll need to find some way to improve our lander technology to have a hope of safely exploring the surface here. Yeah, based on what I see, that would most likely be also Mercury's out of the consideration. That one. Looks like an old Russian space probe, Captain. It's neat, but not much we can do with it. Old Russian space probe. Okay. I'm guessing, yeah, that's Foster Gasser. We've acquired. Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. Well, let's go. This is a heck of a thing, Captain. We found some kind of mm. monument here. At least, I think it's a monument. It's a big, multicolored slab of metal with odd protrusions sticking out of it. Balls and sticks, kind of. There's text on it, or graffiti. Pictures of aliens fighting? I'm honestly not sure. No human language, anyways. Not much we can do with it, but admire it. And... done. We'll just leave this here, then. Really? We're not trying to take it with us and investigate it and have our, have our researching people doing their Fandango um, research stuff, you know? The boffins. The birds. Nope. Not really that. Okay. No! Oops. Captain, the weather on this planet will make landing very difficult. We'll need better landers to manage it. Yep. Very well knowing after our last experience.
kinda love the sound they use to pick it up. Sounds like, somebody, sounds like my ship's actually trying to beat the stuff. Our new probable friends came back! Uh, did you get everything we need to repair our vessel? You did? That's not good. Did you tell them we were here? Well, now that sounds extremely not good. Like I said, if you help us repair our ship, we might be able to help you deal with these scribe. So, have you found everything we need to repair our vessel? Great! Now we can fix our ship! It worked! <laughs> We've repaired the hull damage and restored power to our propulsion systems. It will take another minute or so to get our defensive systems online. So please, don't murder us! <laughs> Great! So, my new damp chum, why don't we head back to Earth? You can introduce us to your parents! And leaders. We can tell them what we've told you. Or we could just hang out. Most definitely. But we have procedures to minimize the health-related risks of contact with alien species. Meeting aliens is not new to us, human. Okay. Oh, he's uh, oh, he's just buggered off. Wait for me, you dead shit. Ah oh, no! Oh no! This is not gonna be good. <laughs> Barbarity. How about the destruction of our innocent probe? Do 
not attempt to hide it. We saw the weapons blink as we approached this system. We see the wreckage now. When I communicate the details of our encounter to scribe no seat, they will be most displeased at the loss of our equipment. Hmm. I suspect you are the ones the Taiwan have been hiding from us. Who knew they were filled with such deceit? We thought it was just whose. <laughs> that Taiwan, the one cowering in the shadow of your vessel, we will destroy it as well, along with all the rest of the Taiwan. That one of your colloquialisms. I hope it means yes. Please come destroy our planet and mine the rubble for scraps of metal. It's not uh, no matter. This has not been a pleasant conversation, Savage. I am glad it's over. Whoa, where did that come from? That's a rhetorical question, actually. I know exactly where that came from. A bad, bad place. We're still repairing our weapon systems, so we won't be able to help you. Which is a shame, because we really, really wanted to do that. Good luck! Great! Thank you. You did great, best friend. You are so awesome. And sexy. What? What? D but... Oh, that's weird. Translation error, probably. That happens sometimes. Anytime we say something weird or uncomfortable, that'll be a translation error. Okay. Of course. And it's not just a humanity saving deal now, it's also a Taiwan saving deal. I don't know if you caught it, but that scribe didn't just threaten to kill all Taiwan everywhere. That's not gonna go over well back home. But first, let's go to Earth. I imagine your leaders will want to talk about this. And when you get here, we have something we need to give you. Interesting. Just as long as there's not a dark room and I can't see. Well, so far I have to say the game is actually pretty damn pretty good. The graphics on the characters are good, the fighting... Need to get used to that. Obviously, realizing distance of weapons, etc. Learning curve. But that is going to be natural, I think, to be honest. Okay, let's just do this a bit more, I think. We're going for about an hour. Let's see what happens when we get back to Earth. I'm not really going to do a constant let's play of it. Get a bit of footage done, I think, to be honest. And kind of in that mood, you know. Captain, there you survived! Go. Not anymore, it isn't. But enough about you, Captain. We need to talk about that other ship you're traveling with.
So, we're definitely not alone in this universe. We've suspected as much for a while. Those weird caves on Ceres, the scraps of distant radio signals, all those missing giraffes. But this Wait, proves it. Giraffes? There are aliens out there, including some pretty mean ones. These scribes sound terrifying. I don't know if allied is the right word. Wimdu claims the scribes sometimes integrate new aliens into their empire as vassal states of some kind. And if what Wimdu says is true about their current attitude to young alien species, obliterated sounds like the more likely fate they'll have planned for us. But your successful engagement with them lends us hope that we might not be completely defenseless. A shame it had to come to that. No one woke up today wanting a war with a race of murderous space centaurs. We'll begin preparing a defensive fleet right away. Still, there's a lot about this situation that we don't know. What do you think of this Wimdu? Do you trust him, Captain? He is unusually clingy, yes. But it doesn't look like we can afford to turn down any friends at this point. The Taiwam have graciously offered to install something on your ship. They call it a hyperspace module. With it, you'll apparently be able to travel faster than the speed of light. We want you to go with the Taiwam to his home planet and request an alliance with his people. Okay. A little modesty might help here, Captain. If this works, we'll be sending actual diplomats later to handle the details. But Wimdu has insisted that you make the first gesture. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think he has a bit of a crush on you. And you did save one of their ships. The Taiwan will trust you more than any other human. Moreover, you wouldn't be in command of that ship if you weren't smart, diplomatic, and adaptable. Plus, you've passed all the sanity tests. You sure that I passed all the sanity tests? I hear voices in my head and have delusion of grandeur, I have an ego, I love power, and generally want to blow up shit. Yeah, I think you may have got the wrong one, but okay. Nice, Captain. We've helped patch up the Taiwan ship. They've requested you travel with them to their homeworld in the Alpha Repeculae system. Head there right away. Then, if you can, negotiate an alliance between the Taiwam and Earth. After that, see what other information you can gather about the Scribe and the galaxy around us. Paying particular attention to the parts of the galaxy that want to destroy us. We need to get up to speed quickly here. According to Wimdu, Alpha Repeculae is a short distance away by hyperdrive. You should have plenty of fuel to make it there and back. If you want to offload any minerals you've collected or refuel now, I suppose you can do that. Okay. Right. I think I'm going to stop it there. So far, we're going for an hour. A few frame rate issues. Other than that, everything's running smoothly. But the game, I'm liking the storyline. Obviously, it's the usual classic... Bad guys are coming to kill us all, blah, blah, blah. Can't get enough of that. Controls and fighting, as I said, going to get used to that. Flying the ship's going to need to get used to that. But other than that, learning curve is always going to be there. So far, I think the storyline is going to be interesting, of course. All the extra stuff that I've seen, obviously, we've had a little look at as well. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good game. So I've been going for just over an hour and seven minutes. I think I'm going to hold it there. And I might do a later video later on, future down the line. I'm not generally one really going to put this as a little let's play. It's just to basically get something up there because I was feeling in the mood of actually recording. Uh, anything else? If you... Mm, that's it, I think, to be honest. I can't think of anything else. Uh, oh. If there is any issues with the video sound or my audio sound, certainly leave a comment in the thing so I can obviously have a look at that and see what I can do to fix it. So far from what I can see, my mixture's saying I'm in I should be okay. But 
that you were gonna, just going to be hearing it. Uh, other than that, well, hopefully, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you later.